second proverb says this, the tongue weighs particularly nothing, but only a few people can hold it. It's so light, it's so small, but only a few people are able to hold the tongue. So James says, watch the tongue. Now he goes into a little bit more here. He uses a couple of illustrations about the tongue. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. We'll take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. Okay, go James, just slip the hell word in there at the end for good measure. But I don't think we fully appreciate the power of the tongue. The pen is mightier than the sword, but the, the tongue is mightier than the pen and the sword. Think back to moments in your own life when people have said things to you. I remember something that happened to me in Standard 5, Grade 7. And I can still remember those words to this very day. You've all got examples of that in your life. Positive or negative. Often the negative ones we hang on to. But um, we've got those things in our lives and you just know that's because words can be so very powerful. 